In my previous video, I suggested that you start with the what question, the content question. I say this because sometimes teachers want to start with the methods question, the how question. The problem with starting with how is that you might not be able to assess the learning goals through the method of your choice. Let me explain. If you love individual assignments, or if you love collaborative assignments, these are two different ways of working with a topic, and they are two different ways of assessing a student's learning. And for the student's sake, it's important to vary your methods, also vary your assessment methods, so that they can show you what they've learned on several occasions. In this course, understanding the complexity of higher education is one of the overall learning goals. And for me to assess that, I need to think about what understanding is and what it means. And to me, it's a cognitive skill in many ways. It's something you do individually when you understand something. But from an educational point of view, learning is also a social activity. And we can gain deeper insight into, for example, the complexity of higher education through discussions and through reading different kinds of sources and listening to different kind of people. I thought about this when choosing the reading materials. And I made a conscious choice to include more female voices as a way to break the trend of always starting out with, most of the time, the white Western males telling the rest of us how the world is and how the world should be. But I'm also fully aware that my list could be much more diverse. So if you have suggestions of materials from people of different ethnic backgrounds and different perspectives on higher education, please share them with me. So took variation into consideration when planning the teaching methods and the assessment methods for this course. The blog posts are individual assignments and they give me an insight into your reflections and your arguments when it comes to higher education. And the assessment criteria are as follows. In Adobe Connect, I will be assessing if you've prepared for the seminar and if you've understood the topic at hand. I need to give you ample opportunities to take part in the discussion. So you will both be writing and speaking your comments. But this is a good thing to think about in any situation. In Adobe Connect, I have to think about also taking in written comments because your microphone might not be working, so I will not be able to hear what you say anyways. But in a physical classroom, for example, in a seminar room, not every student likes to take part in a verbal discussion but they can take part in a written discussion, either through different digital tools or simply by handing in a paper with their written comments later on. 